Hello and welcome back to my channel. So last week, about a week and a half ago actually, we made some spiritually cleansing waters. It's based on the uh, Florida water and the cinnamon water recipes. And I have for years been making my own version of Florida water. And that's what this is. And this one was cinnamon. It was cinnamon, cloves, allspice berries, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, orange peel, some roses. This one I didn't put any ground herbs in, but you'll notice how dark it is. And when I saw it, I was startled. I was like, because I did put several things of cinnamon in it. And initially, I thought that's what had turned it this color. But upon further inspection, I noticed that the roses that I used in here, which I've never used before, because, you know, I, I just recently, within the last year, acquired this particular rose bush. And it's a very deep red. You know, I know there's no dyes in it because... I grow these myself and they're very natural I don't use any kind of chemical pesticides or anything like that the only thing that I have put on it is neem oil and water mixture to keep the aphids off of it but when I looked I noticed that some of the roses were almost white that you can see right there so essentially, we made the water, and then I took it to my moon altar to charge under the sun and the moon. Normally, I concentrate on the moon. I'm all about moon energy. I love the uh, lunar energy. But this time, I wanted some sun energy in it as well because, you know, it's, it's summertime, and the sun's very, very po powerful here in Texas in the summer. In addition to getting intense solar energy, we got our lunar energy, then we had a couple of electric storms one night and the next night we had them again where you could see the whole sky was just dancing with lightning. You couldn't hear it. We had two rainstorms, one with really high winds, and our waters soaked up all this power, all this energy, so they are... This is some very intense water. I, I tested it out to see how it cleaned, if it, you know, left any kind of re residue or stain because of how dark it is. It is dark, but it doesn't leave any kind of stain. And it, it actually, it cleans very well, and it smells so good. It's awesome, I, I think. So I took the idea of cleansing with the Florida water a long time ago. You know, I, I heard about it somewhere, and I thought to myself, this is a great idea, and they used to sell it at the CVS that I used to go to in Dallas. And that's when I started buying it and started making it myself because anything that you put your energy into is going to be another layer of power and fortitude into your spell. What we need to do now is transfer our water to another container so that we can sift out all the herbs. You're going to need a big enough receptacle to hold your fluid. You're going to need either cheesecloth or a coffee filter, which is what I'm using, secured. And you're going to need a funnel. Some paper towels or wipes. You might want to put something over your table. Okay. So this is a process. A bit. I'm going to combine my waters together because they, they both smell amazing. That way I don't have to have two receptacles. I really don't, I don't need it to be like that. If they were very different, which in my mind when I initially did it, they were supposed to be. But I ended up putting a lot of cinnamon in here, <laughs> so they end up smelling really a lot alike. 
which is okay, it's fine. Sometimes we have an idea, it doesn't turn out exactly the, the way we had envisioned it, but it turns out better. And that's what happened this time. So I'm just gonna finish getting my water in to the receptacles. And then, cause this is gonna be a, a long boring process and I know you don't wanna sit here through it. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. So what happened was, as the liquid was draining through the coffee filter, it was taking a really long time. So I sat back and relaxed and fell asleep. So now it's about 24 hours later and here's our liquid, here's our herbs, and I was thinking to myself, how can I utilize these herbs because they have still a very strong scent and they have great vibrational energy and so I thought maybe I can make some infused oil and I thought about doing that but then I thought why don't I make some incense with it I've never made incense before I've, it's pretty inexpensive to purchase but I think it would be fun and interesting to see if this works I couldn't find anything on the internet about my specific question, which is, can I use herbs in my incense cones if it has been soaked in alcohol? <laughs> Being soaked in alcohol, it seems would make it far more c combustible. So, I came up with a recipe that was less combustible, but still able to combust on its own. So this is really an experiment, so you're really going to just be experimenting with me. I think it's going to be a great experiment, one that we can learn from, and possibly, you know, find something great if it's not been done before, which, you know, if I've, if I've thought of it, it's probably been done before. I just couldn't find it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right this second is I want to pour my liquid, my Ritual Cleanse into its own bottle. And I even put a little label on here. So now we have our great smelling rich, full of vibrational energy, very cleansing, purifying, ritual cleanse, also known as Florida water. And you can use this to clean off your altar, to clean all of your tools. You can use it as a floor sweep. You can I would just put a little bit in my bath because of all the cinnamon that's in it. But if you were using just regular Florida water, and that's the thing, you can make this recipe basically however you want. It's it's basically what do you prefer? What what are you trying to accomplish as well? You know, if you are looking for a lot of peace and tranquility, then I would use more lavender. If you're looking for more love, empathy, understanding. I would use some pink roses. I love that the heat from the cinnamon. I love the intensity of it. I love how it is a catalyst that fortifies and strengthens every aspect of your work. And that's why, you know, I use cinnamon in almost all my spells. And that's why I wanted it to be in the forefront of my spiritual cleanse. And I'm so happy that I did it this way. You know, initially it was not supposed to be so cinnamony, but I'm glad that it is. It smells really good and fresh. It's so vibrant. It, it has that scent of um, energy, like vibrant energy. And then in the back of it, the back, scents are comfort um, 
because you have kind of a, you know when you walk into your mom's house after not being there for a long time and she's cooking some something with cinnamon in it, that's what it reminds me of, like something very comforting but strong. Anyway, I hope you all like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the very next video because we are going to make incense cones out of our leftover herbs. Thank you.